What up, YouTube? Back with another one. Yeah, it is. Hey, before I start and say anything, I want to say thank you on the 4K. You did. I could not be here if it weren't for y'all tuning in, hitting that like, that comment, that subscribe. Oh, how I appreciate you. Y'all have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you. I'm going to try to celebrate, you know, go live so I can holler at y'all. We can all celebrate together. So, again, thank you. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, it is. All right. So, to why we're here, because I ain't going to hold y'all too long. I want this to be a real quick short video. Today is going to be a comparison video of uh, DTF uh, powder video. Um, if you look at these two transfers here, as you can see, they may look similar, you know, when you look at the front. But as you flip them, you can see one has been powdered and cured with black adhesive uh, powder. And one has been cured with white adhesive powder. Um, I cured them both at, on my heat press at 330 for 160 seconds. They cured at the same temperature. Um, the black gave off the same effect as the white when it's ready. You know, that real orange peel look. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to press one of them on a black t-shirt. And I'm going to press one on a black bag. But they're both on uh, black canvases, if you shall. And um, we're just going to see the comparisons because I've been hearing mixed reviews on this black powder and I've been curious. So we're going to try it together. Yeah, it is. So you rocking with that. Hold on to after the intro and I'm going to see you. Hold on. Yeah, it is. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do the t-shirt first. So we'll lay t-shirt. Uh, on the heat press real quick give it a good pre-press more pressure um, I'm pressing at 300 for 16 seconds now oh my heat press I need to put some WD-40 baby joints is cracking don't do that that's embarrassing all on this video um, but anywho um, you can press between 300 and 320, you know, for the DTF. And I say between like 12 and 16 seconds to be on the safe side. But I press mine at 300 for 16 seconds. Um, we're going to put it on a t-shirt because I already know how the white do for real. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put the white base on the t-shirt. So this is the white. The transfer with the white powder is on the t-shirt. Let's make sure it's in the middle. In the middle. It actually looks good. Let me just straighten out just a little bit more. All right. First press. Use a Teflon sheet. 16 seconds. Now this is the bag that I'm going to put a little uh, grocery reuse type bag, you know. Now, this is a cold peel, so I'm just going to pour that off, and then, where's my bag here? Take my bag, right, but I'm going to stick. All right, so I just take pressing pillow, put it inside of this bag here, like so. Bag a little wrinkle, isn't it? So, give a little pre press and whatnot. Alrighty. This is the black adhesive powder on the bag. Let's kill, let's kill. Same time, same temp. While that's pressing, we can cold peel our first line. We gotta find a good corner. Boom. Grab it real quick. Keep pulling. Don't stop. Keep on moving. Don't stop. Keep, keep on peeling. Don't stop now. Once you start peeling, keep peeling. Don't get scared and hesitate. Alright, so we're gonna let this one cool down. See with the black 
Her. So this is it on the uh, with the white powder. Ooh, pretty. Peace, love, and locks. Um, but I'm gonna give this another press for about ten seconds or more, more or less, with just parchment paper. So, and this peeled up very easily. Very nice. All right, so we can peel it back. Nice. Peeled it real nice and easy and smooth black. Here's the shirt with the final press with the parchment paper. Now I'm going to press this bag for its last press. Alright, so that was the final press on the bag, and that's the black powder. Let's put them side by side and compare them, see if we can tell the difference. Alright y'all, so side by side, I can already tell that, I can tell the difference, but it's not a huge or like a bad difference at all. Um. So here's the black one up close, let's see if I can put it like Okay, guys, so on the left is with the white powder, cured powder, and on the right is with the black adhesive. All right, so this is the black, white on the left, black on the right. Like I said, it's not a huge, huge difference, but I definitely see that the white is slightly more vibrant than the black powder. You know what I'm saying? Um... They both peel easily, and they both lay very easily. They cure good. They both cure good, but it's not a huge difference. It's a matter of preference. Um, But I would say just rock with white powder. You don't necessarily need black powder. That's just my opinion. Um, Yeah. Like I said, it's a difference, but not a difference that I feel like you have to use. You know, a, a different powder for a darker shirt. But like I said, that's my opinion. Don't kill me in the comments. So, that's all I got for y'all today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, one more look. Final product. Like I said, this was cured with the black powder. I think it came out really good. Really soft. I'm loving DTF. That's with the white powder. Nice, clean. That's it. Yeah, did. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. The next one, I'm out. Make shine. Yeah, it is.